Welcome to LostPreventionMagic.com. I'm Frank Davis. We're here at Lowe's in beautiful Tampa, Florida, and I'm going to show you how criminals can use change raise scams to cost retailers just like this one millions of dollars every year by using just cash, a little bit of a magic technique, some cashier inattention, and a little bit of luck. Then, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to defeat these methods using very, very simple procedures that you can teach any cashier in a matter of minutes. Let's check it out. Lowe's one of the largest retail home improvement companies in the United States. They're a Fortune 50 company and in 2014 they had revenues in excess of 56 billion dollars. With nearly 2,000 stores, Lowe's serves approximately 16 million customers each week. In 2014, the National Retail Federation University of Florida National Retail Security Survey reported that retailers lost 44 billion dollars to shoplifting, employee and vendor theft, and or administrative error all collectively known as inventory shrink. Now let's see how some of that loss can happen. Oh, thank you. Find everything you needed today? Yeah. Yes, perfect, thank you. Good. Do you have a Milo's card you want to put that on? Uh, no, thank you. No? Right. So your total today is going to be 244. Thank you. Out of 50? Yes, thank you. Wait a minute. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Wait, don't, don't close your door. Come on, come on. Did I give you? I thought I gave you a, a five. Did I give you a five? Yeah, no, you gave me a fifty. Double check. Make sure. I want to make sure that I, I give you your money back. Yeah. Got a fifty right here. Well, I tell you what. I, I don't want all this change. Let me give you. I have. Let me, here. Here. Let me get the fifty. Comment mm -hmm. that. Make sure I, it, it's exact, exact, exactly fifty. I want to make sure you get your money back because I don't need all this change. Yeah. Forty now. Oh, forty. Yeah. I tell you what. You know, I have another 50. Look, that's 50. Right. And here's a 50. Just give me 100 back. Okay. Oh. Now let's look at an explanation of the change raise scam. In this version, the criminal presents the cashier with an item valued at less than $5. She rings the item up, and the criminal presents her a $50 bill, a bill typically too large for this type of purchase. As she goes to make change for the 50, the criminal takes from his right pocket a set of predetermined money. This is the money he's going to exchange in just a moment. He's going to distract her and instruct her to keep her drawer open. He thinks he paid with too much. He thought he gave her a $5 bill. She wants to double check. So as she hands that money over, it's switched for the money in his pocket. She shows him the 50. And he says, you know what? I don't need all this change. Let me count it here. You count it back. Make sure that it's 50. He pockets the 50 she just gave him as she goes to verify the amount. She realizes it's not enough. It's $49. So now the chain is raised. He hands her a single and another 50 and says, you know what? Just give me 100. In this change raise scam example, not only does the criminal profit from whatever merchandise that he's presented for purchase, but he also profits whatever change was handed to him from the bill that he presented the cashier. In this case, he profits nearly $50 because he purchased an item that was valued at less than $5. So he gets away with that item for free and the change because the cashier hands him back everything he's already handed her in cash. How to defeat change rate scams. First, as a cashier, you are in charge of and responsible for everything in your register. Never let a customer tell you to keep your drawer open or how to do your job or what the procedures for your business are. Next. Never make even exchanges of money. Only do one procedure at a time. One transaction at a time is much easier to keep track of and much harder for criminals to make fraudulent use of. If you only do one transaction at a time, close your drawer in between each one. By closing the cash register drawer, it prevents criminals from having an opportunity to have more money and more time with you to make confusing situations from. How are you? How are you doing? Doing great. Thank you so much for asking. How's your day been? Marvelous. Oh, good. Thank you very much. You get the lucky job out here, huh? Oh, just today. Just today? No kidding. No way. Yeah. 
No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, ah. Oh. What's the matter? No. I'll tell you. See you later. How are you doing today? Good. That's it? Yes, ma'am. 2.44. There you are. How's your day going? Good. Good. Wait a minute. Hold on. I, did I give you a five? Or? He gave me a 50. Oh, I didn't want all this change. Oh, yeah, it, can I give? Can I get the fifty back? I'll, I'll give you. I, I have a five. I can. I can give you. Uh, here we go. I'll, get, I'll give you your change back. Well, here, yeah, I'll buy. I'll, I'll buy another one if that'll help. You can just ring me up for two. Okay. Okay. You have, you have a 50? Oh, uh, yeah, I have the 50 you just gave me. Okay. Where's you have the change I just gave you? Oh, here. It was uh, 56 cents. Okay. Oh, there you go. I need to extra 20s anyways. I'm at it. Hold on. Hold on. How much? This. Oh, here you go. This is probably you. Is that you? It was 46. 40. 47, yeah. Ah, That's there you go. Ah, there you go. There's that. Beautiful. Okay. I'll just pay you with a five. There you go. Hi, my name is Derek Walter. I'm a store manager with Lowe's near Tampa. I would highly recommend Frank Davis Loss Prevention Magic to help you and your team with all loss prevention, safety, and hazmat needs.